Hello viewers and welcome to Malan Chal TV. My name is John Gaho and this is your program, The Pinpointer. This is a program that comes to you, brings to you every politician, every big person, yet also religious people. Like today, this is our second episode where we are hosting Prophet Regina. Last time we talked about the reason, uh, the advantages of being a prophet. We came to understand who is this person by the name Prophet Regina. What is she doing in our nation? And for today, we are going to discuss about the need of uh, the prophet or the need of the church to embrace uh, the prophet. So, welcome, uh, prophet. Thank Regina. you so much. It's yeah. my pleasure again. And welcome uh, you again in Malayan TV. Mm -hmm. the only TV station in the whole of East Africa mm -hmm. that gives such information mm -hmm. to Kenya. So, uh, the same again, I'd like you to introduce yourself to my viewer back at home. Mm -hmm. Tell them or remind them who you are, what is your role, and uh, what you're doing in general. Uh -huh. mm. Thank you. It's my pleasure, John, to be back in uh, Mother and Child TV. Yeah. I'm so grateful for what you are doing mm -hmm. because when a woman is uh, all right, yeah. the entire family mm -hmm. should be all right yeah. because the woman is the one who carries the wood mm -hmm. that gives birth. Yeah. So uh, my name is Prophet Regina. Um, so grateful to be here again. I'm still doing the assignment of uh, putting order in the Church of Jesus Christ yeah. under the umbrella of Jubilee Prophetic Movement. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Uh, now, last time uh, we talked about the advantage of a uh, person being a prophet. Mm. You know, being a prophet is not a common thing and it's not a normal thing. Yeah. Uh, maybe I'd like you to remind my viewers some of these advantages that uh, a prophet enjoys, some of these merits mm. that a prophet has over the other people like pastors, like people. Yeah. Uh, the advantages of uh, you being a prophet. Uh, number one, viewers, I would want you to know that uh, a prophet is in an office like a pastor. Uh, well, it's nothing special about that. Mm -hmm. But this gift is from, from God himself. Yeah. It is God who chooses who to give what. Mm -hmm. A pastor is in an office, a prophet is in an office. So there's not, nothing much about that because it's a gift from God. Mm -hmm. And it is God who chooses who to give what. Yeah. So uh, I enjoy being a prophet, number one, mm -hmm. because I hear the voice of God. Uh, a prophet is, a, a, is there to hear God. Mm. And he's there to he or she's there to speak on behalf of God. Mm. That's that, that's the office of a prophet. Oh, okay. yeah. Now, um, uh, without uh, before we continue, uh, mm. uh, what is this difference between you and uh, any other pastor? Uh, uh, you're a prophet. What is the difference between me as a prophet? And I, I said these are uh, are given by the Holy Spirit of God. Yeah. So a pastor is a pastor a shepherd seated in the church mm. and watching over the flock. Mm. A prophet. I cannot be seated there and watching over the flock. Yeah. God can wake me up today and send me to Ethiopia. Mm -hmm. And he will provide for the means of going to Ethiopia. Mm -hmm. Because a prophet cannot be stationed. A mouthpiece of God and as somebody who is an assignment to hear and to act on the love of God, um, a prophet cannot pastor a church. Yeah. Because today, uh, God wants you to go to Kisumu. Then the flock will be in a mess. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay, um, uh, in your book... Uh Grace of prophets. What do you mean? So the Bible says that God will never do anything. Mm -hmm. You see, we are living in the world. The Bible says in the, uh, Psalms 24, yeah. the world and the fullness they are in belongs to God. Yeah. So this world we are living in is uh, it belongs to God. Actually, it is His first soul. Mm -hmm. When heaven is there, His dwelling place, yeah. His the earth is His first soul. Yeah. So everything about earth and about us mm -hmm. is under the control of the sovereign God. Mm -hmm. So if God wants to implement His agenda on earth, mm -hmm. He will pick somebody and the Bible says he does not do anything until he has confined to his servant the prophet. Mm -hmm. So that is it. Yeah. Okay, um, uh, there's a place where you're talking about uh, you are able to change the atmosphere by speaking. Yeah. What is this? Uh, you see, a prophet is an oracle of God. Like now, look at Elisha. He goes someplace, and people are telling him the water here is not okay, the land is not productive. And so, the, uh, the presence of the prophet and whatever the prophet acted upon mm -hmm. was able to deliver that land. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so that's how you change the atmosphere. You go to some places, and people are being uh, terrorized by witches and uh, wizards. The presence of a prophet mm -hmm. there mm -hmm. should mark the difference in the atmosphere. Okay, yeah. my big question, prophet, is mm -hmm. why? What is this reason as to why you should you are asking Kenyan churches or uh, churches in all over the world, Africa and other nations to embrace the prophet? You see the Bible says John, mm -hmm. th th there is uh, something written in the Bible mm -hmm. about the children of Israel. Mm -hmm. 
they were in captivity for many years, mm. 430 years. Mm. Now, it does not mean that God did not know about that. Yeah. But a time came for God to act and deliver them. Mm. Now, the Bible says it's by the mouth of a prophet, God delivered them from Egypt. And it is by the mouth of a prophet, he took them to the Lord, he promised for them. Mm. So, the, in every transition in the world, even in our personal lives, you cannot do without a prophet. Because the prophet will hear God mm. and give the direction. Yeah. He's speaking a brother of God. Okay. Yeah. So the prophet must be there. The prophet must be there. To speak on the other. Yes, yes. You mean that, uh Actually, we are church without the prophet then now, uh, who is giving guidance, who is, who is telling people what God is saying. Mm. We cannot, we cannot look, we, we understand, we don't have uh, the knowledge of what God is saying. Mm. Uh, like now, uh, by the grace of God, yeah. anywhere we go as a prophetic movement, mm. God gives us, opens our spiritual eyes to see the condition of that place, even of that church or those people. And then we are able to address that because we are there to heal and to prepare this church for the second coming of yeah. Jesus Christ. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So you are in a church, any congregation yeah. where people don't embrace prophetic, uh, prophetic grace, then uh, there is a question mark about the God they worship. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, Prophet. Mm. Uh, according to uh, what has uh, been speaking to you, mm. what is the spiritual condition of the church in Kenya? Now, number one, I want the church in Kenya to know that uh, the problem in this nation is not the president or the government or the, or the opposition. Mm -hmm. the, whatever you are seeing happen in the nation of Kenya. Actually, John, on Saturdays, I went to Chuka, to minister in Chuka. Yeah. In Amatatu, the Lord spoke to me and told me, the shouting you are hearing mm -hmm. and the, 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 the lack of respect to the authorities. Mm -hmm. This thing is streaming from the church. There is a lot of lack of respect to the authorities in the church mm -hmm. that is not spring, springing down, I mean springing out mm. to affect even the nation. Because anything uh, manifesting physically, John, the origin is spiritual. Mm. If the spiritual is not okay, the physical will not be alright. Mm. So the, the condition of the church in Kenya, mm. the, uh, actually I have gone around this nation and they say 80% are Christian, it's a lie. Mm. Because people just, the, the, the many people who are corrupt, they are bearing Christian names because that is what kind of people say I'm a Christian because I was baptized and somebody called me John. When you become a Christian, you should live like a, you should be like a Christ. Mm -hmm. You are walking, you are saying, you know, everything about you all around should reflect Christ. Now, what we are facing in this nation are counterfeits, mm -hmm. a lot of hypocrisy. Mm -hmm. People who are deep in the demonic, people even who have chains that are coming from the devil, mm -hmm. people who have magic stones, people who have even gone to be rocking the pagans in the kingdom of darkness, and they are covering up in the church. Wait, wait. You're talking about having yes, chains, yes, having rings. I even my dirty t-shirts and then some suits that are that are, are being treated from the kingdom of darkness so that you are able what to what do you mean by magic t-shirts uh, these are now demonic things uh, kind of attires mm -hmm. that uh, the, the kingdom of darkness ha has uh, has gone to a higher level mm -hmm. of influence in the church John I want to surprise you there are even some places people take their bibles to be treated so that when he comes and he starts with the phone and he lifts up the bible according to my understanding uh -huh. being treated means you visit a hospital not, not a hospital a witch literally a witch you take the Bible. Yeah, you take the Bible. Listen, you take the word of God that you use, the Bible you used to preach, mm -hmm. and it is treated by a uh, witch. You pay some amount of money. Mm -hmm. And you see now, uh, that is the falling away I spoke why, about why at the beginning. Because they don't want to obey. They don't want to seek the face of the God who called them. Mm -hmm. That's why in the, in, the, in the book of Galatians, Paul rebukes the Galatians, and he told them, who bewitched you, you foolish Galatians? You began in the spirit, but at the end of the day, you have ended up in the flesh. That is what is happening. People don't want to seek God. People don't want, don't want to use the right path. They are looking for shortcuts because of the rest of the flesh, love of money, fame and whatever, all those things, pride of life. Oh my, yeah. you're talking about confusion. A lot of confusion. I'm telling you, John, look at the book of Acts. The foundation the apostles picked up from Jesus Christ. Acts chapter 2 from verse 42. The Bible says these people still fast continued in the doctrine and the teaching of the apostles. And the miracles happened. The, uh, nobody paid any money for any miracle. Nobody, uh, actually the Bible says they had everything in common. Meaning, there is no Christian fraternity here that is selling so. Whatever they say, you know that is confusion. So people, people keep on wondering what they start. Now, which is which? 
What is the prophetic message that you have for you? People go back to the foundation. That is what has been taking you out the nations. The church has to go back to the foundation. We cannot embrace the world. Actually, we are the agent of change. Anywhere you appear as a Christian, the Bible says wherever Jesus went, he did the good. We should be now reflecting that. Um, you're talking about uh, the Bible being treated. Mm. Why is that Bible being treated? You see, my, my, uh, uh, now, when people fail mm -hmm. to live as per the standards of the God who called them, mm -hmm. and they want to have the standard of the people of the world, or they, they want to have a copycat, that, that, there is a lot of copycat in the church. Mm -hmm. You want to drive, because you are also many, a minister. Yeah. You want to live in a nice house. Mm -hmm. Now, when you don't trust God, the God who called you, mm -hmm. and I know that he's Jehovah Jireh, mm -hmm. he can provide for you those things without having a shortcut, mm -hmm. then you'll be influenced by the world, and the people who have already gone to the world, and they are covering up in the church. That was uh, Prophet uh, Regina, and uh, keep tuned for the next episode because we'll be talking about the situation of the, of the nation. Because yeah. we'll be talking about the situation of the, the nation. Mm. I am John Gaho. Keep tuned to Madam Child TV. See you next time. Bye bye. Shalom. Mm. Thank you.